Welcome back. All right, so four recaps back to back to back to back. Uh, and we're starting off with the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Islanders. This one finished a while ago, but again, I haven't had the chance to do the recap, so here we are. Uh, Freddie Anderson making his first postseason appearance with the Carolina Hurricanes. Of course, he was hurt last year. Uh, he wasn't available until this game. I thought he played well. Uh, it was Anderson versus Sorokin, of course, the Islanders all time at home in a game six, 17 and two. So that's what the Canes were up against on top of the fact that Carolina, their road record over the last few years has not been great either. So uh, Fashing's denied and close during that first minute. Palmieri has a net drive that's saved and held. Good start for the New York Islanders in this one. Engvall has a rush chance that's defended the Islanders press. The shots are two apiece at four minutes. Uh, Stahl has a shot that deflects out. Clutterbuck then had a net feed. Near miss there. Uh, Kane's press are kept to the outside. Pesci has a point shot that's saved. The rebound's cleared. And then on a rush during a Kane's line change. So good uh, good setup here by the Islanders. Seeing that there's not enough players on there for the Canes, or at least they're not in position. Clutterbuck scores from Pollock and Sezikis at 9 minutes and 20 seconds. So that fourth line chipping in might have been their best line tonight, to be honest. Uh, so top shelf short side on that one. Horvat to Lee near miss is now they're looking for another. Gostas Bear has a stick break on a point shot. Uh, Fashing then has a rush chance that leads to an Islanders power play, which was one for 15 in this series coming into tonight. It does not get better. Uh, really, really solid penalty kill by the Carolina Hurricanes. Also, the fact that it only lasts 35 seconds. We have 125 of four on four that follows. The fans then call one. The referee doesn't. Everything's killed off. Lee has a shot that's held. Engvall has a net drive that's held. Barzell can't bury one in close. And Anderson was on his back to keep it out, kind of doing a snow angel there. Uh, Jarvis has a net drive chance that's saved with 141 left. The Canes have a power play. So that rolls over into the second period. The Islanders finish the kill there. Uh, Shea has a tip shot that's held. Burn had a, Burns had one that was held as well, and we get some pushing after that. So both goalies limiting rebounds tonight. Uh, Dobson has a shot saved. The rebound's cleared. Power play then for the Islanders. Nelson has a blast that's held. There's a shorthanded rush by Stahl that leads to a Martinuk chance. That was saved. They do kill that power play off. The shots are 5-4 to four for the Canes at 6.5 minutes. Uh, then there's a post for Kokanyemi as the Canes are pressuring, looking for the tying goal. Parisi without a stick. The Islanders pinned down a bit, uh, but they end up surviving that. The next Kokanyemi chance was saved, a net feed to Nason, near miss there. Uh, then at the other end, there's a toe save on Nelson. The Islanders clear it out. Uh, the Islanders press some more, but they're kept to the outside. Burns has a tip shot, that save. Barzell picks off a pass, rushes the other way. Uh, then there's a crossbar for Parisi from a sharp angle. So Parisi close to getting on the board there. Uh, the Islanders had momentum, but they're only up by one. And that's the key thing in these playoffs, right? You can have all the momentum in the world, but if you're only ahead by one, in fact... If you're only ahead by three, uh, these playoffs have been a different kind of beast. So the Islanders press some more with eight minutes left. Palmieri's denied. They cycle. Canes press back with six minutes left. There's more Canes pressure the next shift. Mayfield clears it out. 3.29 left. We get a power play for the Islanders. Ajo to the box for a, power, for a penalty against Ajo. I'm going to miss that matchup. Um, Canes clear. They don't let the Islanders set up. Uh, Palmieri's denied. The Islanders cycle late. That's killed off. The Islanders press afterwards, but they're kept to the outside. So no lines to the net. Uh, no repeated shots at the goaltender or anything. Clutterbucks then denied. The Islanders have the momentum back. So we're going into the third period with the score still 1-0 for the Islanders. Early jump for the Canes, though. They get some pressure. Uh, they're kept to the outside early. Pugliarvi was then denied and close. The Islanders rushed the other way. Fast couldn't bury one in close himself. Uh, Canes press some more. The shots are three to one. Carolina at four minutes. It would get worse. Canes shooting from everywhere and just controlling the play at this point. Uh, Fashing then has a shot from a sharp angle that's held. Martinook has a shot that's kicked aside. The fans call one. The referee doesn't. Considering their power play in this series, might have been for the best. Uh, things are pushed in a hold by Sorokin. There's more pressure by the Canes at seven and a half minutes. The Islanders are blocking. But they're allowing too many shots overall. The shots are 10 to 2 for the Canes at 8.5 minutes. And then Ajo tips one in. Pesci with the shot at 9.24. And it's just too many chances. That was the 30th shot overall for the Canes. And so the Islanders are just letting them have way too many opportunities here. Uh, the Islanders then they press with 7 minutes left. Fashing is a net feed that's picked off. 
Burns had a tip shot that was held. Slavin, net feed, that gets held before it gets to anybody. Pollock fires one wide as the Islanders press. Mayfield has a shot that's held. We get back-to-back -back icings by the Islanders. Uh, we're down to three minutes left at this point. Shea has a shot that's caught, held. We're down to one twelve left. We were going to overtime. Uh, in the overtime, good early back and forth. The Canes press at a minute and a half. They're kept to the outside. Goss Despair is a shot that's saved. The Canes cycle. Chatfield fires one wide. And it really just felt like the Canes, it was a matter of time. It was a matter of time before they get this one done. Paul Mary had a net drive that was defended. The Islanders were pressed at five and a half minutes, but uh, the puck goes the other way. Stastny scores from step on at six minutes and one second from a sharp angle. It goes in off of the pad of Sorokin. And so the Canes end this journey for the New York Islanders in six games. They win two to one in overtime. Your three stars in this game are Stastny, Aho, and Sorokin. Shots on net are 11-8 Islanders in the first, 17-11 Islanders in the second, and then Canes take over. They outshoot the Islanders 19-5 in the third and 3-1 in the overtime, including the shot that matters. Final shots, 41-34 for Carolina. Power plays, the Canes 0 for 2, the Islanders 0 for 3. Uh, hits, 31-21 for Carolina. Anderson saved 33 out of 34. Remarkable, considering he hadn't played in a couple of weeks. Uh, Sorokin saved 39 out of 41. So for the Islanders, uh, they've got some soul-searching to do in the offseason. They've got a team that's good enough to make the playoffs. They don't look like they're built for said playoffs to move on in those playoffs. So they didn't get enough offense from the guys who are getting paid the big money. Something's going to have to happen. Uh, we'll see what they do. Uh, of course, Lou Lamorello, not one to make knee-jerk decisions when it comes to his roster. So we'll see what happens in the offseason. And if, if anything takes place between now and the draft, that changes things. For Carolina, uh, they win. Uh, they don't have to worry about a Game 7. Uh, their opposition is either going to be New Jersey or the Rangers in the next round. Of course, they're playing tomorrow in their Game 6. Uh, if you're a Canes fan, you're probably hoping that one goes to 7. Get Carolina the extra time off. You look at this series, Carolina won the first two games at home, 2-1 to one and 4-3, to three, that 4-3 to three win in overtime. Uh, game three, the Islanders went at home 5-1. to one. So this series went the other way. We're looking at playoffs where the road team's winning a ton. This series has gone the other way. Game four, the road team won that one. Carolina wins 5-2. to two. The Islanders then won in Carolina to keep the series going with that 3-2 to two win. And then Carolina wins 2-1 to one in overtime here. So... Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding this series and regarding what the future is for the New York Islanders. Uh, what does this team need in order to truly become a contender for the Stanley Cup? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And congratulations to the Carolina Hurricanes on officially being the second team to move on to the next round. I did pick them in the first round. So far, my bracket's good, but I'm nervous. And we'll get to why I'm nervous in the next recap. That being said, thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.